Wow, hello everyone. Welcome back to Municipal 36 and uh, I thank you guys for always supporting me. So today I'm in the streets of Fort Porto City again. And right now I want to take, to take you uh, to a place called Kasusu, Katwamba, that site that you don't always see. So I want to take you guys and show you actually how this place looks like. And uh, please kindly give this video a like and share with your friends. Let me know in the comment section about my videos. So, in the previous videos, guys, that I have been uh, posting, I was showing you how the streets looks like. But uh, today, I'm not going to take you uh, in the streets of Fort Potro City, but I'm taking you to a place called Kasusu, Katwamba. So, guys, kindly follow this video let's walk together as we tour this place so I'm going to be take, uh, uh, showing you some of the different parts and some of the different places telling you about their names and uh, the newest streets around this side so hope you guys you, can, you enjoy my videos Kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed too. And uh, please, guys, support me through super chat, through super thanks, or buy me a super sticker as well. Supporting you, are African boy. So, this is how uh, this place looks like. So, right now, that one, the one that you are seeing, that is the Kawarole Hospital. Yeah, it's not. It's not a regional, a regional hospital, this place, but uh, it's, uh, it's like it's for the, for the, for the Christians. So it's called Kavarole Hospital right there. That's the Kavarole Hospital. So we are proceeding. Hope you guys, you can see how clean for Porto City is. So that's why they say here, guys, that, uh, Fort Potro is the cleanest city here in Uganda that we, we all know because you can see the streets how they look like guys they really look clean so let me know about your city how does it look like guys yeah is it cleaner like Fort Potro so I'm showing you how Fort Potro guys is really it's really changing and uh, actually how uh, what what impresses you to come and uh, and this food portrait is that uh, first of all it is clean and uh, another another thing is that uh, the portrait is the the tourism city here in Uganda so if you are, you, you are looking for a tourist uh, tourism maybe uh, city destination make sure that you, you first think about for Porto guys because it's the, the the first ever tourism city here in Uganda that we all know and uh, another thing is the cleanest city that you guys you should one day uh, maybe come and uh, visit wow, so it's really looking nice so let me take you up to Katwamba Kasusu that side wow so you can see here there is a uh, something let me first cross the road I'm trying to cross so this is the Toro baby's home you can see guys Toro baby's home guys, that is the Toro baby's home. You can see the Toro baby's home. So in this place, guys, this is uh, a place where uh Ian for Portro like uh, they, they, they they have like an organization where that they keep for uh, like children uh, who who doesn't have parents or whose parents died 
so this is the Toro baby's home this is where it's a place where uh, they keep those children from well, so guys right over there you can see that is uh, the gate to the palace to the Toro palace that is the gate to the Toro palace let me first zoom it for you guys here So that is the gate, that is the entrance right there. Wow, so that is uh, the Toro Royal Palace right over there, guys. Wow, so that is how it looks like. So let's continue, guys, to a place called Kasusu Kachwamba. So here you can see this road proceeds to a school. There is a school, Kiawamba Girls. Uh, there is uh, a church. Yeah. So you can see that uh, a lot of tourists come and uh, visit the kingdom. Wow. So guys, let me know how do you feel about this place. Uh, is it like... Uh, is it... Is it, is, it, is, it, is it really the, the cleanest uh, city in, in, uh, in, the, in Uganda, guys? Wow. So, in this channel, guys, I want to show you, actually, the places that you don't always see. That's why I share, I keep sharing this kind of content so that you guys get to know how Fukuoka City uh, looks like, like every day. So I, will, I promise I will be giving you like every every weekend a city tour and in different places. So this place is called is called uh, uh, Harukoto. Yeah, Harukoto. So this place is called guys uh, is called Harukoto, and uh, hope you can see how it is uh, it is uh, developed because there is a new new very uh, very many newly constructed. Uh, apartments and a lot of businesses have started operating so this is the timber workshop here wow so it really looks nice so you can see that here yeah, they have started making like uh, businesses on the streets and the streets have started growing you know in the uh, in the previous years like uh, like about 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 like about two like uh, yeah like about two years back it was not like this how it looks like but uh, right now you can see it, re it is really 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 changing and actually there are wow so you can see nice places around guys so get impressed guys to come and visit uh, Fukuoka one day. I, I may say that it's the best, I may say that it's the cleanest, the cleanest uh, street, L rather like the cleanest city here in Uganda guys, or oh, you can see. So a lot of nice buildings and uh, what they have impressed me guys in this place, uh, they are newly constructed like skyscrapers in this case skyscrapers because they are very 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 like eh, taller buildings around wow and they are really changing the face of the of the city wow wow
So this is how it looks like basically guys. You can't believe that eh? you can't believe how the photo is really changing. Wow, so nice. Ati zifukazi tete zinzifuka. Kama kani kuto na wana ya. Ati mo nuko na kuziki, kalo kuziri nda kuziri nda zifuka nuko rot. Kani yokuwe na mara mafiri yumsa. Hmm. Yako mara mukai. Na gimara mbwa. Yako mara mukai na. So that is I'm buying pina posi ya. And the big man is saying it's it's five hundred. Big pita ane. It's five hundred guys. So I wanna buy for five. Because I feel so thirsty. One. Mm, one. Okay, one time. So, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to eat from the street because I don't have time and I have to keep traveling, showing you different parts in this place. So don't worry when you see me uh, eat. The, from the roadside. Mm. it's really yummy really 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 yummy and, um, that's why I like pineapples so this is the new new hotel uh, it's called the Casa Hotel and uh, it's very soon it's gonna be open Wow, it's really looking nice, guys. Hope you can see how it is really looking. So it's gonna be at the biggest, the biggest hotel here in Fort Porto City. Wow, really looking nice, guys. So and down there, there are, are businesses operating, uh, like the hardwares. Yeah, so they sell a lot of like. Eh? Hardware materials, millennium tiles. Wow, very nice guys. And right over there, there is, that is a company of Unilever. They are selling maybe the Homo, yeah, all Unilever products. Wow, so let me proceed to another side of the Susu guys that I, I told you. The Susu Katwamba. And they show you actually how it, it looks like. So, Finally anyway, guys give this video a like and share with your friends. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section to let me know how you feel about my videos. So guys, right now, so this place is called Maguru. We have come from Harukoto. Right now, we are approaching Maguru. This place is called Maguru, and actually, we are just left with one, only one, uh, one place, uh, Kasus to reach Katsuamba. Wow, so you can see guys how it looks like so come and enjoy beautiful uh, sceneries around for Porto. so this is how it looks like basically 
and uh, what we've liked that uh, for Porto this year is really, 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 really changing every day, every day and night. And a lot of uh, works are being carried. So if you are looking for like a, a tourism a tourism destination, think about think about uh, for Porto uh, because it's the uh, the tourism city that we all know. So I may recommend you guys to come and uh, travel to our city, guys. So this is uh, the new. Uh, uh, petrol station around here is nice, very nice. Wow, it's really looking nice. Wow. And uh, I think, guys, I should take you to. Let me pass. Like, there, there, there are two roads that proceed to Karambi, uh, where I told you. There is this one and this one. So, this is the shortcut. So, may. Let me take this shortcut that also proceeds to Karambi. So basically the, the roads are, are not really really like well on this side because you have been seeing uh, how how the, the roads on the main road looks like they are really uh, like new and very, very very nice so in this side uh, they are just starting you know to, uh, to to develop this place and some uh, nice activities around they are selling blocks right over there you can see so yeah, it's still developing can see some of the degraded, uh, graded lands here. So maybe they want to start uh, building this place. So this is how it looks like. Wow. So nice, so nice, so nice, guys. So let's continue, guys, walking up to. You are going to walk up to. Yeah, Kara and Kasusu, as I told you. One of the places that you don't always see. <sighs> so a very nice building here, but uh, it was built on a uh, roadside. Wow. So this seems to be like a village, but it's not because it's uh, a side of, 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 of the town. That's why you see that eh? it looks like this, but actually it's uh, in uh, also in in the city. So this is uh, Virika. Now we have reached Virika, guys. This is Virika. And there is a hospital, there are schools, so this is the first, uh, like, girls school. It's called the St. Maria Goret Girls Secondary School. Well, it's very nice school, you can see right over there. Wow, that's it. So this is the entrance of the school. It's called St. Maria Goret girls secondary school. Yeah, it's for only girls, and it's been here for a couple of years. 
wow it's really looking nice right over there so guys come and enjoy Fort Potro Fort Potro has uh, amazing things that you guys you should come one day to uh, and visit and uh, a lot of uh, tourist uh, destinations that's why uh, we are called the tourism city here in Uganda because uh, we, we, we possess like many many tourist attractions here so I think you guys one day come and visit Fort Potro it's really amazing me I'm there I will take you around show you how it looks like and you also enjoy maybe one day you can feel at home buy land from this place yeah it's really looking nice guys so I may say that Fort Potro is really looking nice wow. so in this place you can see the security is really uh, th th those are the street lights they are being powered by solar wow. <coughs> Very nice. This is not. So, guys, you can see. So, this side, that is, uh, that's a hospital. It's called Virika Hospital. That's for the Christians, and it's a. Uh, a very big hospital it competes with our it competes with our with our regional fire hospital Bohinga. but actually Bohinga reminds the region yeah it's the best so that is the hospital right over there yeah it is a Virica, Virica Hospital. So they have the church right over there. So that is the entrance of the hospital. Wow, so kindly guys like 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 like, like the video uh, let me know how do you feel about my videos kindly share them so that they can be recognized by the YouTube algorithm Wow So that is the there is an ongoing project right over there. So they are doing like the Rika Church renovation. They are putting a new roof. You can see they are doing uh, renovation. So they are trying to put a new roof on the char on the on the church. Yeah. So that's how it looks like, guys. Wow. So this is the uh, school of nursing. You, you know, like like like, like, like Bohinga Regional Fire Hospital. Bohinga has a nursing school called Bohinga School of, uh, uh, rather Fort Potro School of Clinical Officers, and this is the uh, Virka School of Nursing. So they also have their school right over there. So if you are a student from the a nursing student from uh, from the school, you go direct to the hospital. Very nice. So I want to show you this project, guys. Actually, they are doing a big renovation, and recently the president of Uganda uh, did like a fundraising about this uh, renovation. Oh, so very nice. Wanna take a big picture and I show you actually how it looks like. So that is the church right over there. 
can see they are doing its uh, its roof the renovation they are renovating the the roof you can see so they have just done with the upper part right there that's how it looks like wow wow so let me take you guys up to to karambi kachwamba that side and i show you actually how it looks like so kindly guys support your african boy drop some super chat super thanks as you are supporting your african boy you know guys you give me much motivation as i vlog around for Porto, showing you the beauty of our city uh, some of the places that you don't see you know yeah i really really uh, appreciate for the love and support that you always give me so i wanna go and show you uh, how karambi looks like So this is this here you can see guys this is a, a flower garden right from the other side and uh, the, 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 those flowers are planted here by by the sisters you know they are sisters uh, the sisters from the Virica, Virica church so they plant these flowers and sell them to decorators the ones that uh, who decorate like 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 uh, wedding flowers uh, that the gifts and uh like the flowers that uh, they, they put on the graves on the coffins so they do sell these flowers actually to those people uh, so basically guys we are now in the in, in karambi so this place is called Karambi, Katwamba, rather Katwamba. Well, I'm sorry, guys, for the correction, but it's called uh, Katwamba. Katwamba. So I want to show you its center. I want to reach actually in the center and I show you how it looks like. Wow. So, guys, kindly support me. I won't stop asking for the support because you know, guys. Uh, I put much energy uh, making these videos, making these videos, so that you guys will show you uh, some of the different places that you don't always see in Fort Portro and uh, Uganda at large. Uh, traveling to different places could cost someone like money uh, for transport, accommodation, and, uh, and some things, the food. So me traveling to different parts in Fort Porto, showing you these vlogs, guys, I need much of your support. And they won't stop asking for the support because you are the ones who do support me. If you don't support me through like a super chat, super thanks for joining my channel membership, you can support me through liking my videos, sharing them, and uh, yeah, watching till the end because we are monetized guys don't skip the ads if you meet an ad an advertisement guys if you meet an any ad, ad on my videos don't try to skip it because that is the one that is paying me so if you watch the adverts uh, till the end and watch full videos that's the better way to support your african boy guys because it's not like all of us have like funds or money to, to send someone, but uh, the love could be, could be great to one another. So can the guys keep supporting me? Wow, so this is Katwamba, Katwamba food portrait. So we also have here another, uh, like cultural site it's called cultural center it's called koi koi village cultural center 
So if one day you guys want to come to Fort Potro, try to come and uh, at Koikoi, Koikoi Cultural Center, and uh, you're gonna enjoy a lot, guys, from the culture of Fort Potro. Because in this place, guys, there is a lot of cultural like uh, dances. It's called Koikoi. Koikoi village. There is a lodge, restaurant, events, conferences, boutique, craft shop, plant, nursery, jungle, playground, nature walks, dance and culture. So it's the next place guys. Come and enjoy one day. Wow. So we are coming uh, close to the center of Katwamba. And uh, I can't wait guys, I want to show you actually how it looks like. It's a city by itself, Katwamba. And uh, guys, if you are, you, 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 are, you are from Katwamba and you have taken like long, long time without coming to this place, yeah, know that it's really changing. And uh, this is the video that I made for you to see how this place is very really changing. Wow, very nice. So, I'm coming close guys to, to the center. And I wanna show you how it looks like actually. So guys, this is YouTube 256 Exploring Uganda, Africa that you don't always see on TV. Today I made this video just for you guys uh, to give like a, a, a tour around our neighborhood Katwamba that you don't, uh, you don't always see because I have been sharing videos from Porto City showing you how it looks like but today I decided to take you around this side of uh, Katwamba and also show you how it it is really changing the face of the city. Wow. So this is it, the center of Katwamba. Hope you, you are seeing how it looks like and it's really clean because let me first cross. You can see how it looks like guys so this is how it looks like wow very nice so you can see that they built uh, amazing buildings like bigger buildings don't think that it's the Katwamba that you know guys if you are from Katwamba and see how the place is really changing so those are the newly hotels apartments here we build their building so it's for the rasta i see the bike over there oh, it's very nice brooklyn bakasumbusa I can't do Guys, I'm trying street food. This is Sumbusa. I've just bought it here in the streets of Katwamba. Yeah, I just wanted to taste the street food from this side. Mm. Mm. 
very yummy guys Ich kann mir nicht sagen, ob ich mich nicht so gut verhalte. So guys, it's been amazing today. I've been in uh, the streets of Katwamba, and uh, I think I should sign out for now, guys. I'll be updating you in another video. Thank you for keeping it to the power of the six. I'm on the road to 4K subscribers. Can they give this video a like, share with your friends, and uh, you guys, I'm on, I'm, I'm on taste. Share some super chat, super thanks, or buy uh, me a, a super chat as well, supporting your African world. So I think I should sign out for now.